Hi everybody, today I want to talk to you about a new app that I'm testing called Bunch. It's from one of my favorite map developers, Brett Terpstra. And Bunch is a app launcher that allows you to launch setups for your computer, meaning that if you are or have a uh, work setup, for example, you can, where a certain set of applications and files are open, you can uh, launch them in a certain sequence with just the click of a command uh, from a menu. And the best part is it functions uh, just like Apple Script, only it's much, much easier to write than um, an Apple script. It's regular text that you can uh, write to create these so-called bunches. So let's first, let's see one in action. So I'm going to click the, um, and I'm going to cl click the menu here. And then clear the check marks. Now I'm going to choose the test URLs bunch and see what it does. It closed drafts. The bunch launched. And now it launched Skype. And there was an Apple script that said bunch launched. Let's see what else it does. Skype launched. Now I uh, Chrome URL launched, System76. Let's see if there's more uh, URLs that are going to launch. I think there's a delay between each URL, so let's see if they launch. Okay, here's the next URL. Here's another URL that just opened, ESPN. This is my blog website. So as you can see, it says it right there. Mac automation with plain text. Now, that's, that's the last URL that is scheduled to open in this bunch. Let's take a look at the text file that made this automation possible. So I'm going to choose Finder. And it opened the bunches folder. The bunch folder is in my documents folder, and it is where you have to um, place all your bunches, all your bunch files by default. <clears throat> that setting is can be changed by going to the me bunch menu and selecting preferences and here is where you can set your um, bunch uh, folder but I just left it as the default now let's take a look at the at the 
text file that I use TextMate to write and how I created this bunch that you just saw. It was called test URLs. I want to open this. Here it is. So, as you can see, the first thing this uh, bunch did was open Skype. You can to launch an application, you can simply type the name without needing to add any additional syntax like launch Skype. So it did that first, and then it went ahead and opened these four URLs. And yes, it did take a while to open them. Um, I want to say because my system is slow, um, that could be one reason. Another reason was it was waiting for each website to finish loading. And additionally, after each URL, I put in a one second delay. And the tilde with a one, it indicates that that's the delay. So the tilde is the syntax, and then the one is the integer of how many seconds I want the delay to be. So <clears throat> there, that's why the URLs were taking such a long time. And then it also closed drafts, and it did that early in the sequence. And it didn't do them in order that I in the order that I expected, which is weird. Because I also had the this little piece of Apple script which is say bunched, or I'm sorry, say bunch launched, and I put a five second delay after it. But it, even though it is the very last item in the text file, it set it pretty early in the launch sequence. So, and I know the app, the bunch, uh, help files have a section discussing launch sequences. So I'd have to read more about this, uh, the sequence feature. Anyway, I have a work set up using bunch and I also have a a quitting sequence using bunch as long as launching um, you know a bus a bunch of example bunches <laughs> now you tell me that's not a tongue twister so and again this is uh, from a developer that I really admire Brett Terpstra and you can find his um, the download link right here. And you can download the latest version of Bunch. Again, and it gives you a website and all the help files you need to uh, start using this awesome application that is similar to Keyboard Maestro. I don't know yet if it has all the features of Keyboard Maestro, but it definitely has quite a bit of them without needing the graphical interface. You can just simply type in a, a text edit file, save it with the bunch extension, and save it in your designated bunch folder will enable that file to appear in the 
bunch menu up here and yeah and you would be able to launch any bunch you want um there are lots of different actions that you can do with bunch i just showed you the ones that have a text syntax that i could remember to write it's an awesome program i hope to use it a lot more if if it can do um most of the things that would uh key keyboard maestro can do i potentially could see myself you know switching primary uh, mainly to bunches as opposed to keyboard maestro that's still way way off in the future though right now i'm still using keyboard maestro pretty regularly but you guys tell me what do you guys think of bunch would you guys use it over keyboard maestro or would you use a combination of the two all right guys uh let me know in the comments below subscribe and share and let me know what you think all right i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.